I got into permanent makeup because um, as a child, I was involved in the theater. I'm still very involved in the theater. And you know, obviously a big part of being in the theater is um, stage makeup. I started doing theater when I was four years old. I've always been kind of a out there creative thinker. I always was doodling as a kid. And strangely enough, the things that I would doodle was faces. I would always draw faces, lips and eyes, um, even as a, as a young kid. Um, but my involvement in the theater really helped me to understand makeup. And uh, I also went to a conservatory for college where I also took extensive makeup classes. Um, but through a twist and turn in life, I ended up not going into theater immediately out of school. I had a wonderful surprise <laughs> with my son and um, I became a medical assistant. And for many years I worked with different specialties so I, I was well versed in all kinds of different um, specialties. I worked with cardiologists, rheumatologists, um, dermatologists, podiatrists, which was amazing. I learned so much about the body and about um, just patient care and different procedures and how to you know set up a surgical tray. All of those things have really served me well. Um, eventually I found my way to a plastic surgeon's office and he had me trained in lots of laser procedures. So I was doing hair removal and spider veins and tattoo removal and all kinds of fun cosmetic things, which I really enjoyed. But when I finally discovered permanent makeup, I knew that was the perfect marriage between my creative theater side and my medical side. I started doing permanent makeup in 1999 is when I completed my first training. So here we are 20 years later. The procedures have not changed that much. Uh, microblading obviously was a uh, big revolutionary technique when it came on the scene. The truth is manual techniques of putting pigment in the skin have been around for you know hundreds of years in Asia um, and it finally made its way over here. And the microblading is super cool but the traditional way of doing permanent makeup with the machine, that technique really hasn't changed that much in the 20 years. The pigments are much better. You know, I think we've gotten a little bit smarter about it and it looks more natural than it used to look. But at the end of the day, it's pretty much like a tattoo.